For over 132 years, the Coca-Cola company has been part of many people's lives. Coca-Cola now offers more than 500 brands in over 200 countries worldwide. The Coca-Cola company also employs over 700,000 people worldwide, creating economic opportunities in many local communities. The company has also taken the responsibility upon themselves to reduce the environmental impact by replenishing water and promoting recycling. Now you may ask yourself, what is the secret to the Coca-Cola brand success? Well, it's the people. The people who have collectively created and benefited from these various initiatives across the African continent. I'm Asanda Marku and I'll be your guide through these various initiatives that the Coca-Cola company has set up. So join me as we embark on this journey to find the secret formula. Africa presents a great opportunity uh, for us and we are very committed to developing the business in Africa. I think more than anywhere else in the world, uh, developing the business in Africa will mean developing the communities we operate. Uh, this is true elsewhere, but even more true in Africa, given the needs of the 1.4 billion consumers that we serve. So we take it very seriously. Our approach through growing the communities is through empowerment. So in the case of um, Africa, we have empowered more than 1.5 million women uh, in the past few years, and we are committed to continue doing so. Uh, we are also very committed to uh, the ingredients and local sourcing of those ingredients so that we develop the economies in the, in the places that, uh, that we operate. In a nutshell, we are very committed to growing the business and growing the communities we operate. We have concrete plans to do so and quite excited about the prospects of the continent. We just got to Motherwell. Um, we're here to meet our first business in the box beneficiary, Unamsha. It's been quite hectic trying to find her business in a box. Like, it's just crazy. The traffic is insane. It's quite busy out here. So, wish us luck. I'm hoping we'll find her soon. Namsha Kalipi is the owner of Shez Enterprises and she specializes in groceries, hot foods, hot chips, and her speciality, which is the ox liver which I can't wait to try out. She's been operating a business since 2018 and I want to go find out how business is going. Hi Namsa. Now Namsa, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into like the love of having your own business? I grew up in King Williams Town, then I was brought up here in Port Elizabeth. After I finished matric, uh, I, was, I worked uh, for about 10 years. Then when I lost my job, 2016, uh, I was sitting at home thinking, what can I do now? Then that's when this business thing grew in me. I started selling bright bulk because I needed to provide for my family. I needed, I've got kids, I'm a mother. So I thought, let me just try and do something. Uh, I started selling bright bulk, hot dogs as a street vendor and playing products next to the shipping. Remember Asanda, when you start a business or when you are, have already been operating, mm -hmm. you need a push. You need someone who's going to support you, especially young people. Yeah, you need someone who's going to support you. So during our BDS, we call it BDS, Business Development Support, mm -hmm. we assign a mentor for the candidates who will be liaising with them. Uh, depending, they will they schedule maybe twice a month uh -huh. and then telephonically as well. Now, as you can see, I've literally just landed from Johannesburg to Mtata, and I must say that was the quickest in and out airport experience I've ever had. I mean, yes, it's small, but it's pretty efficient, I must say. So, you're probably asking, why am I here? I'm here to meet our last beneficiary of business in the box, Sanella. I can't wait to meet her. As you can tell, the road is very bumpy. <laughs> um, hopefully not going to hit any potholes. Woo! But hey, okay, okay. Um, yeah, so you know, <laughs> there's still a lot to be done. South Africa's dire unemployment rate is at its worst with over 54% of youth unemployed. I mean, that's a scary statistic, considering the fact that these SMMEs make up 28% of the country's jobs. I mean, if they're not too small, they remain as survivalist enterprises. Another scary statistic is the fact that 70% of these SMMEs 
hardly survive over two years. I mean, this is where now Business in a Box comes in with the great initiative and their mentorship program, making sure that these young entrepreneurs are equipped with the right skills to make sure that their businesses are successful. And I'm proud to be part of that journey. So from me, Asana Marku, until the next time, see you.